Hi everybody, welcome back to On the Glide Slope. Uh, this is the second in uh, the series of uh, sort of sim training flights that I've started. I had some requests to do some tutorials and I've decided to do those tutorials on things where um, simmers can bring some real world procedures to their flight simulation. I know that when I started off doing this before I had my real world flight training, which I'm about halfway through, um, for my private pilot's license, I, I really didn't know anything about how it all really worked in terms of procedures and aviation and the rest. And one of the things I've really enjoyed from the lessons in the real world is bringing some of that to bear in how I fly my simulation stuff. So um, the first one that we did was flying a pattern, and today we're going to do something I was supposed to have done in my real world lesson today, which is a soft field takeoff. Uh, we had high winds today, so after one lap of the pattern, we scrubbed our lesson. But um, here we can do it in the sim. So we are at... Uh, Harlequin Lake in Alaska. A67 on the charts. It's listed as a 2100-foot uh, um, turf field. Could actually probably do short field takeoff here also. And uh, we're going to uh, just do the procedure for the soft field takeoff and be done. Uh, the general idea here is that you're in an airplane on a field that is probably turf, soft, might be muddy. You want to get your uh, your wheels, your landing gear out of that as fast as possible. So you configure for some lift and you configure uh, for a rolling start. So first uh, in this plane the Piper Warrior, I'm sorry, the Piper Cherokee PA28-161, uh, we would have two notches of flaps, which is 25 degrees of flaps. We configure for a rolling start. We have back elevator pressure, we pull back on the stick. As soon as our wheels are off the ground, we actually lower the nose a bit and fly over the ground until we accelerate up to our climb speed, which for us is going to be about 79 knots. Then we begin our climb slowly retracting the flaps as we go. You don't want to retract the flaps too quickly because you'll actually sink. Your flaps give you lift. So um, we'll give it a shot. Here we go. Rolling start onto our strip. Back on the elevators. I don't want to hit that building down there. Okay, now we'll just fly right over the ground. Nose down until we accelerate to our climb speed. Just coming up. Now we can take one notch of flaps. Next notch of flaps. And we're off. So that's the general idea behind a uh, soft field takeoff, at least as far as I understand it. Boy, some nice scenery here Orbix has. There's the glacier off to this side. Let's go check that out before we are done. That would be uh, Yokotot Glacier. Pretty cool. So that's the uh, soft field takeoff, and uh, thanks for watching on the Glide Slope. I'll continue these series of things as I'm learning them in the real world and how you might run them in your simulator. Uh, next, I think, will probably be the short field takeoff, and then we'll do soft field landings and short field landings. Uh, if you have questions about the sim, certainly go to the website, www.ontheglideslope.net, and it will give you all kinds of information on the build and the rest. And uh, you can certainly post questions in the comments, and I'll answer them as fast as I can. Thanks again for uh, watching. Pretty cool scenery up here in Alaska. Not the safest place in the world to practice your steep turns though. There we go. All right, lots of fun. See you later on the glide slope.